Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Fantasy Football. So I thought I'd create a video of my updated team. Now with your comments, with your suggestions, I have to update my team so many times and this team is going to keep changing. Every single day when a preseason game plays, I keep changing, 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 changing. And these are the things that we need to look out for. I mean, the preseason is the one that we got to kind of watch and to see who's going to have the most minutes, who's going to be playing, what positions. And, you know, we're going to be considering the World Cup as well and how much it affected the start of the season. Because of Harry Kane, you know, you've got Hazard, you've got De Bruyne, you've got Lukaku. These are massive players that could do really, really well in our teams in the early stages. But because they are coming back from the World Cup, it is given other players the option to play so so far this is my team now this is not like i'm pretty sure this is going to change at the end or when the deadline hits but for now this is what i'm going with and uh, i'm going to quickly go through them and then in the comments below i think let's do something in the comments below show your team why not a lot of people are saying that we shouldn't think about this. Why not? This is the fun of it. I enjoy making these videos. I enjoy making my teams. I sit there for hours and hours and mess around and read, you know, yeah, newspapers or read articles and read and see the preseason. And I change them and I love it and I enjoy it. And this is a channel where we can express it and it expresses our teams and our interests. So comment down below your teams. Let other people help you out as well. If I can't get to you, let other people help. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people in this community actually will help around. Follow me on Twitter if you want to see any updates as well so I can try my best to help you out. Now, I don't know if I could uh, message everyone, but I'm going to try my best, right? And this is, what, this is what's fun about this game. So for now, this is my team so far. I'm going to quickly go through them. Give you guys my strategies and uh, and you know because of the World Cup we need to figure out a early wild card now so that means I could get players for the first few weeks and then if I'm going to use the wild card then I could just get rid of them and get the players that I actually really really want so first up I got Foster and Fabieski now the strategy here is okay two cheap goalkeepers 4.5 each is whoever's got a really really good fixture they are going to be playing now Foster is going to be playing first because he is against um, Brighton at home and then I can change him because um, Fabiaski will have a home game so it actually really works together really really well so if we go to Fabieski here you know his next game is against Bournemouth at home so I can switch them around uh, whenever I see uh, one of them having a good good fixture now, the problem is with that is you need to keep switching them around and sometimes, you know, goalkeepers do actually really well against big teams. So, yeah, I might lose a few points. I might gain really good ones as well. But another good strategy about this is that if they have any price rises, then I'm going to gain them. So that's really, really good. If I get a, a 4.0 million goalkeeper here that doesn't play at all, never going to rise. And if I get a premium one, I guess the benefit that is that I don't need to think about it. I have it and I'm kind of guaranteed to get a clean sheet somewhere. Um, so it is up to you. Two different strategies. I want to go for this because it feels more fun, I guess. Next up, we got the defenders. Now, Luke Shaw is just here for now. I need to see what he does in the preseason. I need to see if he actually plays a lot of games. He's been training he's been getting fitter so he should do well because of Ashley Young you know is coming back from holidays and stuff like that he might not play yet he might have uh, more minutes in his hand um so he if he does play a lot of games in that preseason if he does play the first few games which Manchester's fixtures are very good then I think I might actually go for Manchester United player of Luke Shaw 5 million defender for Manchester United, I think that is a bargain. But it all depends on how much he plays. Next up, we got Robertson. Very, very good fixtures for Liverpool. And right now, Liverpool's defence, their midfield are so solid. Now they're just 
bought a new goalkeeper as well. If that's all confirmed, then wow, Liverpool is going to do really, really well. They're going to sort out all their problems. Really good fixtures as well. Six million though, it costs us a lot. If I could get Alexander Arnold for five million, I would go for him. But it depends on how much Alexander Arnold plays, then I would go for him, obviously. But Robinson for now, a premium defender. I haven't changed him at all from all of my drafts. I think he is a must um, for me. Anyway, um, so yeah, Robertson is going to be here. Uh, and I went for something interesting, something that fun, you know. We want to enjoy our FPL as well. And I bought in um, Van Alm. He's a player that can score a lot of goals. He actually scored a few in the preseason, which is incredible. And uh, yeah, 5.5, really good um, attacking player. Could get you them goals, could get you them assists. And with the, with the clean sheets as well, you could get a really high score. So I just thought I'd add him for now. I could change him to Coleman. I could change him to someone else as well. Um, but for now, I want to have a fun factor with my team. So Van now is here for now. Um, decent fixtures. Very good fixtures down here after the Liverpool game. Even in the Liverpool game, he might even do well. But we'll have to see how well Liverpool does. Um, so yeah, 5.5. Yeah, medium, medium defender is there. So it's one, one expensive, one medium, one cheap, and very cheap in defense actually works out really well. But of course, we've got Cedric and Daniels. Very, very cheap defenders here. 4.5 each. You can't go wrong. I'm pretty sure they're going to get a clean sheet. And uh, yeah, I just wanted like the overall team to actually play and would do well. Now, Masioko might be the one that I might need to change and maybe downgrade someone else to kind of like get a decent um, subs because I do want a decent sub as well. I don't know. Do I want a decent sub? I don't know. I have to figure that out. Maybe I should Maybe I should just get really cheap um, defenders as well, like 4.0, and I can spend all my money if I am going to use that wild card. It's just... The wild card issue is I just don't know when I'm going to do it. And I don't want to use it very early and then regret it. So, yeah, I just want to build a whole team for now. And then I'll decide at the end if I do want a really cheap um, sub to choose. Um, as for the midfielders, we've got Mario, 60 million. We don't know which, you know, Manchester City midfielder is going to play. We've got Sane, we've got Sterling coming back. You know, we've got Los Silva. So we've got a lot of players. But I'm going to go for Morris for now. I think he's done really well last season. Uh, 13 assists, 12 goals. You know, that clean sheet points as well helps a lot. Really, really good um, fixtures for Manchester City. I do want to double up on Manchester City players. But I just need to see the preseason. For now, he's just a temp He's just going to be there like a placeholder for now. And, and depends on who plays, then I might need to change them around. I might even get a defender or I could change a Bamian to a Goro. But with a Goro issue is, I don't want to have that issue of thinking about who's playing if it's Jesus or Goro. So I still need to see. A lot of people saying use a Goro because he should play first few games. But yeah, these strategies all going to change. If I'm going to use the wild card, and I guess I should bring a Goro and then change it around. Ah, there's a lot of talking points, guys. A lot of things to talk about. Mohamed Salah is the one who's going to stay. Now, the, the, the reason is of his 46% ownage. Now, a lot of people own him. A lot of people are going to captain him. If he does well, then you got to be with them managers up there, right? you got to do okay as well. If he doesn't do well, then a lot of people is the team's going to hurt. So you're not going to drop dramatically unless there's other people, other managers out there use, you know, playing differential and trying different uh, methods and different players and gambling on different players, then they're going to do well. But there's not going to be a lot of them. So I think having Mohamed Salah in your team could do well unless you downgrade him to Mane and then you get a grower, or a Bamian, you know, you get another good striker like a, I don't know, like Firmino or something, then maybe you can get away. But yeah, it's just it's just too difficult to get rid of. And I, I, to be honest, I don't want to get rid of him anyway. I'm trying to work around him, work around a seller. Martial is a differential. Yes, he's not guaranteed to stay on my team, but he's just someone I want to talk about. 
Lukaku's, you know, Lukaku and Rashford are the main, like, the strikers for Manchester United. We've got Sanchez and uh, Anton and Martial. So, if Lukaku and Rashford are coming back and, you know, they're on holidays or something, it might take them more longer for them to get the match fitness or they will need them rest to kind of, uh, you know, be ready for the Premier League. Man United is playing their preseason very soon. We need to see what he does. If he does get them scores, you know, if he does get them goals, then he might be a great option. And plus, if I'm going to be using my wild card, then I can get rid of him if he's if Lukaku starts to come in in his place. 7.5 is a player to watch out for, guys. So have a look. Next up is Diego Jota. Now, he's been owned by 8% people. And you've been asking as well, that's quite a lot for a price tag of 6.5. But... In the championship itself, with no cups or anything, he scored 17 goals and assisted six, which is quite incredible, which is quite good for a midfielder. But this is the Premier League. We don't know what he's going to do. So far, he's in my team. I thought I had him in because I think he could do well if, you know, if he continues what he does. Uh, of course, with the preseason, we still need to watch out for this and we still need to see what's going on. Decent fixtures, I guess. I mean, Wolves played really well last season in the championship. Could do well. There's a couple of um, pl um, teams here like Leicester away, Manchester City at home, uh, Manchester United away. Quite difficult, but if he does well, there might be a nice gem, guys. So watch out for him. And we got Zaha hasn't changed uh, much. Uh, I had um, an Altovich. I'm just thinking about an Altovich or Zaha. So I have to kind of, I'm just going back and forward. We have a Bamian as well. I can remove him and get Aguero and change Mares to um, like Mkhitaryan or Ramsey. That actually might work. And we've got Tosin that hasn't changed as well. I'm going to have him. I think he's an, a great player. Good fixtures for, um, not for Liverpool, for Everton. So, yeah, this is my team so far. You let me know what you think. Um, just a quick thing. Like, I can change all these. These are This is not an issue. This is just like a little draft that I'm going through. I'm trying to, like, get all the players I really, really want. So, like, we can always remove a Bamian. That is not a problem at all. And we can always put in a Guerrero. I'm just switching. I could just switch these around. It's not an issue at all. If you guys don't like him. Because I know a lot of people actually have a Guerrero. And a lot of people will be disappointed that I don't have him. And, you know, I could go for Mkhitaryan here. Let's just say. Or maybe Ramsey. Let's just say Mkhitaryan. And I have 2 million. I have a lot of money to spend. I can upgrade this 5th fifth, fifth midfielder to 6.5. Maybe get Lamella there into this field. Um, you know, maybe downgrade someone or even upgrade the goalkeepers. So there is a lot of options here. Now, of course, with Harry Kane, with other De like De Bruyne and stuff like that, I guess I'll start adding them once I use my wild card. But for now, that's my team so far. Uh, you let me know in the comments below what you think. You let me know who I should desperately bring. This is all a trial and error, guys. It's all for fun, all messing around. Don't worry if it's not the perfect thing in the world right now. A lot of it's going to change. But every day there's a preseason game. We always add these players. So it's good to think about these things. So yeah. Let me know because of well what you think. Let me know about your team. And that's about it guys. Thanks for watching. Follow me on Twitter guys. If you want to see any kind of updates. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya.